side is with the uh, power supply running from the AC mains. And now we're going to disconnect that from the AC. And we're going to hook up the battery. It's just an ordinary 9 volt battery. There's nothing special about it. <clears throat> and um, no hum and ciphering in the background um, that's that's better on the ciphering if we drop the volume a tiny bit but that's it that's it on a battery operation and um, uh, the uh, mystery of this all still remains a bit of a mystery but we think it's the possibility of the transformer unit itself. And uh, we just don't have a, another AC adapter or um, a wall wart that we could use right now to uh, replace it. Uh, at least not this evening anyway. Um, but that's the next choice that I would have is to use a, uh, a regulated wall wart. Alright, we, uh, we want you to know that the transformer the input on the red leads to the bridge rectifier is about 22, 23 volts. And according to electronics theory, um, the peak voltage across the capacitor, which is the 1000 microfarad here before you get to the zener, is supposed to be uh, 1.41 times that, or roughly 33 volts. Uh, it's only 26, and um, it's a little lower than usual. And even though it's only 4 or 5 volts lower, uh, that could be indicative of uh, a, some sort of problem, either with the transformer or one of the other components. Uh, but you can see from our previous demonstration that it works perfectly well on a 9-volt battery. Um, so the next step we would take is if we could not verify this, and certainly I don't think you can get this transformer anymore, uh, what we might do is hook it up to a 9-volt uh, a regulated wall wart and see how well it does. If it does well, then that we could modify this so that it would use the wall wart. Alright, what we've done as a test, and this is going to really shock you, uh, no pun intended, <laughs> but uh, we've disconnected the um, yellow wire from the transformer. And what it runs is the light bulb here on the top, and you can see it's not lit, and it runs two light bulbs that are in the, the, the knee control. Yeah, yeah. And it also happens to run a couple of light bulbs in your pedal. Full volume. And no hum. Oh yes, if you take the uh, yellow lead off the transformer, this pilot light on the top won't light either. So we can disconnect another wire on the top. It's a yellow wire. Uh, we noticed that uh, uh, our hum problem goes away when we take the uh, expression pedal lamps and run them off of a 9-volt battery. The, all the hum and everything else vanishes. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to make up a little DC power supply. We're going uh, in from the, uh, uh, the uh, transformer leads direct. We're not taking any chance. We noticed they did something I didn't like, and that was they took this output and took one side of it and grounded it to the audio ground. That only increases a ground loop. It doesn't remove it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on and um, we're going to measure our voltage at the output of the bridge rectifier and there's 12 volt bulbs in there 
and this is 12.62. What came in from the transformer is 9, and it's about 1.4, almost 1.5. Um, so basically, uh, you're looking at uh, a peak value of 12 volts, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, uh, let's see, this is the negative end, and that's going on, this is an LM323K. Um, and as I recall, it was, if, if, of course there will be a spark if I don't do this right, but <laughs> um, that's ground. In at the emitter and out at the base. And if I go between co uh, collector and base, 6.8. Okay? So 6.8. This is good for a full amp, so I don't have to worry about how many bulbs I, I put on there. The two in the expression pedal is a half is is a, ha a half amp each. And let's see now this uh, is uh, got an output, so uh, we're going to go directly to the collector. I don't like that. See that that hum. Mm. That is a ground loop. I got nothing connected. Well, let me see what happens when I go to the 5 volts. I'm almost vanishes. Mm. And the expression pedal is still working. And this amp, and this, oops, uh, this transistor is getting very hot because I have no heat sink. So LM323, uh, look, it's, yeah, it's on the hot side, folks. Ooh. <laughs> now, you, the, the dirty trick is to get a vice grip and put a vice grip on the end of it that acts as a temporary heat sink. Um, so it's, I'm, I'm in the ballpark. Using the regulator IC, you notice the hum just about vanished. The output would be um, uh, 6 volts DC. Uh, of course, at 500 MA, this thing is going to get hot. Um, and uh, the extra voltage for the, uh, uh, the bulb up above won't be helping any, the pilot lamp. That pilot lamp in, in later versions would be an LED. And I'd like to see them do the expression pedal on an LED because then you get brightness and you wouldn't have any power draw. Okay, so um, let's see. To verify this 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 runs, um, uh, I'm going to uh, turn this thing on, and I'm going to have to do this quickly. Five volts, approximately which is what I said it should be on a 12 volt bulb. See, it's, it'll be half brilliance. They won't be running full brilliance. Mm. And um, now, if we can sit there and somehow uh, operate the, uh, the knee shoe, then we should be able to find out if we have expression pedal control to do 